News at 6, the GRDA and state environmental officials now blame geese for closing Grand Lakes Bernice Beach. Today, the agency has announced that an independent testing laboratory in Tennessee confirms the high levels of bacteria contain DNA from geese. Right now, the area remains closed because the E. coli levels remain high. Two News reporter Nathan Edwards explains what this means for visitors to Bernice Beach. The Grand River Dam Authority says the reopening of Bernice Beach is a toss up. They say it could take weeks or even months. We're just waiting on the go ahead. That's all we're waiting on. It's been a long wait for Donna Q and her family, who are on a two week vacation here at Bernice State Park. We were kind of upset, but we got to enjoy spending time with the family, but we're just waiting on it to open now. It's likely they won't get to swim at the beach this trip due to high E. coli levels. Today, the GRDA determined that geese and other birds were the source of the bacteria in the water. At this point, you kind of have to let nature take its course, and uh, at some point, maybe it'll be diluted enough that it'll, the levels will drop, so that's what we're looking at now. And in the meantime, families visiting the lake will have to move to another park or seek other means of entertainment. Oh, we're kind of disappointed. We would like to go swimming, but we're making a slip and slide and having fun. Biologists are testing water here on the lake daily, and they say that so far they've only found E. coli on Bernice Beach. Reporting on Grand Lake, Nathan Edwards, 2 News, works for you.